हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इंडियन कल्चर नाउ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो लेसन द चैप्टर फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग टू डाइजेस्टिंग फॉर क्लास फिफ्थ ईवीएस एनसीईआरटी सॉल्यूशंस सो नाउ लेट्स स्टूडेंट्स स्टार्ट द चैप्टर क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन फ्रॉम टेस्टिंग टू digesting first topic discuss and write question 1 julian's mouth started watering when she heard the word imli when does your mouth water list five things you like to eat and describe their taste answer things and taste chocolates sweet ice cream sweet chips salty pickles salty and spicy lemon sour question 2 do you like only one kind of taste or different ones why answer tasting only one taste make me bored so i like tasting different tastes question number 3 julian put a few drops of lemon juice in jhumpa's mouth do you think we can make out the taste with just a few drops answer yes with just few drops of sour lemon juice can make out the taste question number 4 if someone were to put a few seeds of soft any seeds on your tongue would you be able to tell with your eyes closed how answer yes even though we don't taste we can tell by its smell also question 5 how did jhumpa make out the fried fish can you guess the names of certain things only by their smell without seeing or tasting them what are these things answer jhumpa could guess the fried fish only by its smell yes i can guess many things by its smell without even seeing like egg omelet fish fry samosas etc question number 6 has anyone ever told you to hold your nose before taking a medicine why do you think they tell you do this answer yes i have been told to close the nose and take the medicines since if we don't like the smell of the medicine we may not take it in close your eyes and tell collect a few food items having different kinds of taste play a game with your friends like jhumpa and julan did tell your friends to taste the food and ask question 1 how did it taste what was the food item answer the food item taken was chocolate it tasted sweet question 2 on which part of the tongue could you get the most taste in front at the back on the left or right side of the tongue answer in front since we put it on tongue first question 3 which taste could be made out of on which part of the tongue mark these parts on the picture given so here students now you can see the first picture blanks uh, are given now in the second picture you can see uh, from starting uh, sweet and salty taste in the mid part so taste and the uh, uh, inner part bitter taste we can taste question number 4 one at a time put some things to eat in other parts of your mouth under the tongue on the lips on the roof of the mouth did you get any taste there answer no we cannot taste like that with all together of different item question 5 use a clean cloth to wipe the front part of your tongue so that it is dry put some sugar or jaggery there 
could you taste anything why did this happen answer no i could not feel the taste since there was no saliva on the tongue question 6 stand in front of a mirror and look closely at your tongue how does the surface look can you see any tiny bumps on the surface answer the surface of the tongue looks rough to see and yes i can see tiny bumps on the surface next topic is tell question 1 if someone ask you to describe the taste of amla or cucumber you might find it difficult to explain how would you describe the taste of these tomato onion sauf garlic think of words that you know or make up your own words to describe the taste answer food items and taste tomato sweet and juicy with little sour onion pungnut sauf sweet with good smell garlic bitter with pungnut smell question 2 when jumpa tastes some of things she said what do you think she may have eaten answer she might have eaten something spicy maybe a chili question number 3 why don't you make sounds that describe some taste from your expression and sound ask your friends to guess what you might have eaten answer expression and sounds and food item first sound made by licking something pickle yum yum sweet items chocolates ice cream etc slurp kheer noodles next topic chew it or chew it well what's the difference try this together in class question 1 each of you take a piece of bread or roti or some cooked rice put it in your mouth chew 3 to 4 times and swallow it did the taste change as you chewed it answer no the taste did not change it is the same even after chewing or 3 or 4 times question 2 now take another piece or some rice and chew it 32 32 times was there any change in the taste after chewing so many times answer yes the taste changed after chewing so many times the food seems to be sweet now next topic is discuss question 1 has anyone at home told you to eat slowly and to chew well so that the food digest properly why do you think they say this answer yes my mother keeps telling me to eat slowly and chew properly maybe chewing properly helps in swallowing foods and good for food to digest well question 2 imagine you are eating something hard like a green guava what kinds of changes take place in in it from the time you bite a piece and put it in your mouth to when you swallow it answer when i bite a guava it feels a bit hard and a little bitter but later when chewing it it becomes soft and sweet question 3 think what does the saliva in our mouth do answer saliva mixes with food and makes the food soft and digestible next topic straight from the heart question 1 where do you think the food must be going after you put it in your mouth and swallow it in the picture given here draw the path of the food through your body share your picture with your friends do all of you have similar pictures answer the food must be going to the stomach after you put it in your mouth yes all have similar picture now you can draw this picture in your notebook also topic discuss question 
How do you feel when you are very hungry? How would you describe it? For example, sometimes we jokingly say, I am so hungry, I could eat an elephant. Answer, when I am very hungry, I feel dizzy and feel some tingling sensation in my stomach and wanting to eat immediately. Question 2. How do you come to know that you are hungry? Answer. When there is a strong urge to eat something, I will get to know that I am hungry. Question 3. Think what would happen if you do not eat anything for two days. Answer. If I don't eat for two days, I may feel tired and fall sick. Question 4. Would you be able to manage without drinking water for two days? Where do you think the water that we drink goes? Answer. No, I won't be able to manage without drinking water for two days. The water we drink goes to all the parts of the body where all the metabolic activities take place. Some water comes out of our body in form of sweat and urine. Next topic, talk and discuss. Question 1. Do you remember that in class 4, you made a solution of sugar and salt? Nitu's father also made this and gave her. Why do you think this is given to someone who has vomiting and loose motions? Answer. A solution of sugar and salt is given to a person who is suffering from vomiting and loose motion so that it can be controlled from further dehydrating the body. Question 2. Have you heard the word glucose or seen it written anywhere? Where? Answer. Yes, I have seen the word glucose written on the glucose packet and have seen it on TV in advertisements. Question 3. Have you ever tasted glucose? How does it taste? Tell your friends. Answer. Yes, I have tasted glucose. It is very sweet. Question 4. Have you or anyone in your family been given a glucose drip? When and why? Tell the class about it. Answer. Yes, a member of my family was given glucose drip when that person was hospitalized due to sickness. Doctor suggested to give glucose so that they can recover faster. Question number 5. Nitu's teacher used to tell the girls to have glucose while playing hockey. Why do you think she did this? Answer. Nitu's teacher used to tell the girls to have glucose while playing hockey because it would boost the energy level in the body. Question 6. Look at Nitu's picture and describe what is happening. How is the glucose drip being given? Answer. In the picture, we can see that Nitu is given glucose drip. The glucose is given in a bottle with a tube and needle attached to the bottle which supplies glucose to the body. Next topic is discuss. Question 1. Why do you think Rashmi could eat only one roti in the whole day? Answer. Rashmi could eat only one roti in a whole day since she was from a poor family. She could not afford to buy so she had only one roti. Question 2. Do you think Kailash would like games and sports? Answer. No. Kailash don't uh, like sports and games. He has a fat and flabby body which shows that he is not interested in physical activities. Question 3. What do you understand by proper food? Answer. A good diet which includes good amount of nutritious food, proteins, which is needed for the body to function properly. Question 4. Why do you think 
that the food of Rashmi and Kailash was not proper? Answer. While Rashmi is not getting adequate quantity of food, where Kailash is having junk foods like chips, pizza, burger, etc., which is very harmful for the body. Hence, we can say that the food intake is not proper. Next topic, find out. Question 1. Talk with your grandparents or elderly people and find out what they ate and what work they did when they were of your age. Now think about yourself, your daily activities and daily diet. Are these similar or different from what your grandparents did and ate? Answer. When I spoke to my grandparents, they told they used to have dal, green leafy vegetables, milk, fresh fruits and did more of physical activities, walked to school for 2 miles, played games which had more of physical activities. But now times has changed. I to eat even uh, eat vegetables, fruits, along with that we eat a lot of junk food. Go to school by bus. At free time, we play indoor games by watching TV where there are no physical activities. Hence, we can say some things are quite similar while others are different from what our grandparents ate and did. Next topic, think and discuss. Question 1. Do you know any child who does not get enough to eat in the whole day? What are the reasons for this? Answer. Yes, I know a few children who do not get enough food to eat in the whole day. They are from a poor family who cannot afford a proper meal. Question 2. Have you ever seen a godown where a lot of grain has been stored? Where? Answer. Yes, I have seen a godown which stores a lot of grains in a market. Question 3. Why can you not taste food properly when you have a cold? Answer. When we are down with cold, our nose gets blocked where we cannot sense the sense of a smell or taste. Hence, we cannot taste food properly. Question 4. If we were to say that digestion beans in the mouth, how would you explain this right? Answer. We know that there exist salivary glands in the mouth. Saliva contains digestive enzymes. These enzymes help in breaking complex sugars to simple sugars. Hence, we can say that digestion begins in the mouth. Dear students, this is all about the question and answer session of this chapter. I hope this video lesson is a very helpful to you to write all the questions and answer. So, students, please share this video to all your friends so that each and every student can write all the answers very carefully. Thank you and have a nice day.